I have somewhere an interior. But I don't think it's painted, that's the problem. Here's a lovely dashboard. No bloody things on it, but who cares? Right, this one I need to put these a minute. I can do that. I can do that, I can. So I'm just going to screw that straight in. So I will need. I will need a couple of screws, a couple of nuts, a couple of screws, a couple of nuts. Right, let's solve the dashboard. That solves the dashboard. It's this bit that's going to be the tricky part. It is going to be this bit. So let's get this back in out of the way. Something up there, something up there. And I think that will do because it ain't got to be nothing fancy, fancy. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Just my knife. Shit! Get myself in the tip.
Really? Oh yeah. Bloody foot, bloody. What's that? It's nothing. It's nothing. Nothing. That's nothing. What size is that? Twelve. Well, about a 16 is too much. Reet lad, is that going to work? Looks a bit pissed on me. It's too bloody high as well. Two blooming oil as well. Well, that wasn't clever, was it? I just broke the seat. Bugger me. Look at me, old chap. Look at me, old boy!
Sprit, Jimmy, Jimmy. <laughs> that looks shit. <laughs> oh god, how am I supposed to get that on? That's the point now. Yeah, Prompton. Oh, what a wally. What a wally. I guess, no, because they're things, aren't they? Shit, shit, shit. This isn't going to work. No, it's not. What's a prong? Uh, nay. There isn't any spaces on this. But it works, so kind of. Corner works, doesn't it? Corner works. Corner works, old chap. Corner works, corner works. Is it? Oh, sure. Right, now, can we get that grill back off? without demolishing everything that we've just done. This is where the test comes in because I don't even think... Oh yes. Well, there you go. Surprised myself on that one. The answer to my question is yes. Of course you can. Of course you can, Malcolm. As long as I can find the screws. Where's the other bugger gone? It was there two seconds ago. How can it not be there now? I saw the bloody thing sitting here. Two seconds ago. Where is it? If I ever get older than pixies, I'll kill them. This it just amazes me, this place. I literally see both the screws sitting there two minutes ago. So, that being the case, and there it is, look. What a clunk. Unbelievable. And then I'll drop you on the floor. Unbelievable. Right, that's done up, that's done up, 
that's done up. We need to get these wires. We're in the back somehow. We can go under there, hopefully, out the way. So that we don't seem to want to. There we go. That can come down. That one goes round here. They can all come over there. Yeah, we're just a little bit of teasing. Put them in there. They are there. your fingers, lock the cab, obs your arm, fan is your uncle. We now have an interior with a back and no wires. Make sure everything bloody works. If it don't, I'm going home. Oh, I am home. <laughs> Shut up, bloody warnings. Right, so that doesn't matter where that one is, that has to be in the middle. Right, so we have. I think that's upside down, which is a bugger, but I'm not taking it off. In fact, I'm sure it's upside down, but like I said, tough shit, it's staying as it is. I do like that, that's nice. I think from memory that was about 35 quid on eBay. Wish I'd have bought more because I can't bloody find them now. Not for that price anyway. Uh, what else we got? They work, they work. So that works. That works. Welcome to Night Industries, the shit 2000. <laughs> That's appropriate actually, because that matches the front of Agro. I quite like that one. I think I've damaged my sticker, but I don't care. Ah, it's not moving. Why ain't it moving?
quiet. Why ain't it bloody moving? I've tested all the bloody lights and everything, but... I'll turn that one off. Nice one. Right, minor technicality. Jobs are good. I can get the bloody thing back on again now. Minor technicality, but hopefully is yes. <laughs> Apart from, apart from, now we have an ugly bloody wire down a windscreen. Not one are you? Not that one. That one? That one. Gotcha. Gotcha! No, I didn't get you. Got you now. <laughs> keep going back, keep going back. We'll see a bit, but it'll do. I'm happy with it. Let's show you around. So, as you can see now, no nasty mess. Wooden floor, wooden back, but who cares? It's got a dashboard, it's got seats. No wires everywhere, plus I've added some nice lights. It's got all the other lights permanently on now but on is better than off I guess quite happy with it
There's no turning it off though, so that solves that one. Right, I did. Right, sorry, I meant, I meant, meant, I meant to mention Richard Calvert messaged me the other day, asked him for some help and advice. Not sure if you saw in here, but there's two speed controllers in here. Set up exactly the how you would set up a speed controller. There's no nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, there's a wire lead with a battery to link them, so they run off the same battery. It's probably why you can't switch it off because there's so many things that, that are powered on here off of the one battery. But never mind. It's probably just me. Like I said, I'm crap with electrics, but there's a speed controller on the side here, which is linked to the tipping motor and there's a speed controller in the front which is now tucked underneath the floor pan which is the speed controller for the truck motor the go and stop and forward and back and drive motor that's the word I was looking for so you would put your normal drive servo to your normal drive channel 2 or in this weird radio 3 for some reason but usually 2 I believe um, and then you put me personally and on the radio you've got there must be a free a free position switch so find out whatever channel that is or if you can assign it assign that channel whatever that switch is on your radio then you put your second speed controller to that so in this case if it's in up it goes up in the middle it's neutral and down it comes down it's as simple as that it works the same as you would with your normal speed controller but it's not variable because it's on off you don't want it variable, you want it to lift and you want it to lower. So put your second speed controller to that channel. That's it, you don't need the... The only time I would think you would need the um, winch remote is if it's a trailer. Because obviously the linkage of it and everything. But as a rigid, it's so much easier if you've got enough channels and you said you had a 10 channel same channel it's so much easier just to put it on a spare channel on the radio than it is to have a separate thing one the, the, them cheap ones are not reliable they burn out very quick unless you go for a really expensive RC4WD one on all that sort of crap but then you've got to remember you've got to have that with you all the time and it's not worth it put it on a spare channel on your radio all you need that radio works everything on this truck now tipper drive the lot I did explain this the other day but that might have explained it a bit better but like I said if you need any help just send me enough a message and I'll do what I can don't pretend to be an expert I can only give you the advice on how I would do it if I've done it if I haven't done it then sorry but I won't give you advice on something I've never done because I can't advise on something I've never done myself I can't advise on you going to the moon I've never been there I yeah, wouldn't know what shoes to wear wouldn't know what sort of tie to put on or if you need a shirt or even if you need a jumper would expect you need a jumper, it might be a bit chilly up there. You get my drift. Uh, right, let me show you the trailer. 
how it's coming along so far. So I'll be back in a second. getting yeah still needs a lot of tidying up I need to make a um, rear bumper with lights need to really tidy these sides up but I put the deck on it was too light I burnt it didn't quite like it and then I put some creosote on it and now I like it it looks well used and hmm. Put the legs back on, tidy up a bit. So that's where I am so far. I've got a couple of boxes coming to go either side. And then I think that's pretty much there. Yeah, I do. It's a working trailer, it's not going to be perfect. I mean, the bed could be a bit better, but again, they get knocks, they get digs. That's why they make them out of wood. Or put wooden beds on them. See so if they get really damaged, they just pull a one out and put another one in. <laughs> 